Hi, my name is Erin Hodson and I'm an extension entomologist at Iowa State University. Today I'm going to show you how to trap for adult black cutworms and why it's important. Black cutworm is a significant corn pest capable of causing significant stand loss. So let's go find some cutworms. Iowa's winters are too cold for black cutworm, but they have no problem migrating here every spring. Adults catch jet streams and move up from the southern U.S. in March and April. The timing and landing location of these nocturnal moths is highly variable, and that makes it difficult to know when and where to start looking for this pest. We can't rely on the calendar either because each growing season is a little different. To help us know when black cutworm moths arrive, we use sticky traps near cornfields. Ideally, we would have the traps out in late March or early April to catch the first migrants of the year. Traps should be shoulder height and placed adjacent to cornfields. A rubber septum is loaded with female pheromones specific to black cutworm and is placed inside the sticky trap. Males use their antennae to smell the air and pick up the irresistible pheromones that lead them right to the trap. Although the pheromones are specific, sticky traps will collect a lot of different insects. It's important to identify black cutworm from other brown moths you're likely to find. Luckily, the adults have a black dagger on the forewings that makes ID a little easier. Once they've arrived in Iowa and mated, female black cutworm moths will look for places to lay eggs. They are particularly attracted to low-lying broadleaf weeds and other green vegetation. A female will deposit about 1,200 eggs in her lifetime as singles or small clusters. Eggs can be deposited throughout cornfields and not aggregated at the field edges like some other pests. The purpose of trapping for black cutworm moths is to generate a biofix, which is just a fancy word for getting a significant capture. The biofix for black cutworm and baited sticky traps is eight to nine moths captured over a two day period. Once reaching the black cutworm biofix, we use accumulating degree days to estimate the predicted cutting date in corn. Specifically, it takes 300 degree days for larvae to reach the fourth instar, which is large enough to cut corn seedlings at the soil line. This can cause plant death and where stand loss can possibly occur. Each year, the Integrated Pest Management Group at Iowa State University deploys a network of black cutworm traps to estimate the biofix and predict when fourth instars are able to cut corn. We generate a prediction map for the nine crop reporting districts in Iowa, like this one. I've covered the basics on how to trap for adult black cutworms. I hope you have a better understanding on how to estimate the predicted corn cutting date based on this video. If you want to learn more about how to sample and manage black cutworm larvae, watch the companion video. Thanks!